table one. CO in the blockhouse. November 28th, 9.22 a.m. 25 seconds, Sam County. Atlas on internal power. Arm switch to arm. Pan. Gina ready, switch on. Spacecraft to internal power. Five. Clear to launch. We're counting engine start. Ignition. Lift off. Point up. Roger. One three seconds. We're on our way. Roger. One ten seconds. Look steady. The trajectory looks nominal today. Roger. A science system engineer. All green, no deviations. Mechanical system engineer. All green. Atlas main engine cut off. Roger. We had a mark two. Main engine separation. Roger. Panel current. We got panel current. We got some current in one panel. Off manager, we got current on the panels. Shroud loop must be off. Shroud is off. We see some current in one of the solar panels. Roger. We have another panel indicating sunlight. Roger. All stations, this is Ace One. Would like to report the spacecraft is sun acquired. During the next few days, tracking data from the Deep Space Network precisely defined the trajectory. It was a good shot. On its injected course, Mariner 4 would pass 150,000 miles from the leading edge of Mars. Desired trajectory was 5 to 7,000 miles from the trailing edge. A corrective maneuver was set for December 5th. The maneuver accomplished. Mariner would pass about 6,000 miles from the trailing edge of Mars. As had been expected, the sun was very quiet, and Mariner did not record a solar flare until February 5th. On March 17th, the Geiger tube in the ionization chamber, designed to measure radiation, failed. The cause attributed to an overdose of radiation from the February 5th solar flare. April 19th. 58 million miles from Earth. Mariner surpassed the communication record established during the Venus mission. June 22nd. News correspondents were briefed on Mariner's progress. The major question regarding the spacecraft? No one knows if it will still accept commands or if the camera and tape recorder will work. The first two weeks in July, intensive preparations for encounter. Then, July 14th, encounter day. This is Mariner Control. The DC-25 was transmitted 21 minutes ago. In about three minutes, we hope to receive an indication that Mariner has responded to the command. The expected encounter sequence is being explained to audiences in various locations at JPL and Washington, D.C. John Cassani, spacecraft systems engineer. The DC-25 command should initiate the platform scanning action. If the command is not received, the spacecraft will initiate the scanning itself in about one hour. Sensors on board the spacecraft should automatically position the platform at the correct angle and then switch the telemetry to the encounter mode. After that, the spacecraft should start the picture recording sequence. That will be the payoff. We expect that 21 pictures will be recorded. Halfway through the picture recording sequence, at the end of the 330-foot tape, Mariner will signal the Earth and then switch the recording to the second track. Mariner will then make its closest approach to Mars. After that, occultation will begin. As Mariner passes behind Mars, 
the radio signal will be bent by the Martian atmosphere. From the resulting measurements, the atmospheric density can be calculated. After other telemetry data are returned to Earth, the spacecraft will automatically initiate playback of the TV pictures. It's been about 23 minutes since the DC-25 command was sent. The response should come within 20 seconds. Bring it back up now. Okay. 10 seconds. All items under DC-25 were successfully completed on the spacecraft. <laughs> Mariner has acted upon the DC-25 command. The camera platform is scanning. The time passes. By ground command, the camera platform is stopped at the predetermined angle. is aimed within three quarters of one degree of the intended angle. The minutes turn into hours. Another ground command is sent to change telemetry from engineering to science data. At 3.55 p.m., the response comes back. Encounter science on. 15,000 miles from Mars now, 22 minutes until the first picture. We are in wide angle acquisition, reported at 4.55. The camera sensor now sees the planet Mars. The tape recorder should start automatically, but a backup start command is sent. Dragged by 15 minutes, 18. If Mariner works as designed, it should already be recording the first picture. This is Mariner Control. All systems are green. We are 7,406 miles from Mars. Velocity is 66,342 miles per hour. Tape recorder start. Repeat. The tape recorder has started. The shutter is operating. The TV sees the planet. The recorder is working. are being recorded. Backup commands are being sent to stop the recorder and switch telemetry back to engineering and science data. The commands will arrive at the spacecraft just after the last picture has been recorded. This is Mariner Control. We should have indication of tape recorder turn off in two minutes. At Goldstone, the voice of Mariner is loud and clear though signal level is only one billionth 